Oh, hello and welcome to another Reggie's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. I was meaning to turn it off and I turned it on by mistake, but it don't matter. We're it, we're here, right, let's do a review. So tonight I'm reviewing this, Zolly, that's how you pronounce it. Um, Zolly, Granny Smith Apple Craft Cider. It is a 4.5%. Bought it from um, Sainsbury's. And I need a clean glass because that glass is manky. So, here we go. Clean glass at the ready. Look at that. Eh? And let me just check. 13 minutes. Oof. Not going to be a long review. So, it says it's Zolly Heroes, famous apples you already know and love. So, you've got a golden delicious craft cider. It looks like that anyway. Yeah, golden delicious apple craft cider. This is the Granny Smith apple craft cider. So that's interesting because normally they don't really you don't see um, you don't see actual brand actual apples being the focus. It's just as apple cider, you know. It might tell you some of the apples in it, but not a focus on one apple. So that's really interesting uh, as it goes. So about two quid from Sainsbury's when I um, when I went. Part of a new range review at the time. It's been a while. I've, I've had it a while. So it says here, cider, but not as you know it. Even non-cider drinkers say they love Zolly. Jolly. Uh, our Granny Smith is a crisp, tart, and refreshing apple cider with a crunchy acidity that keeps you coming back for more. A perfect match for delicate fish dishes or otherwise everyday easy drinking. The Granny Smith Cider won, of, won one of only two gold medals at the 2019 Global Cider Masters. Made from 100% Granny Smith apples grown and picked in Elgin, West, Western Cape. South African then. I'm tart and crisp, so why not try me with fish or fresh salad? Nothing but 3.3 Granny Smith apples in every bottle. Mm -hmm. So, um, light gold pour, good lacing around the edge, as you'd expect really from a, a, a cider. Nice appley nose. Yeah, obviously, it's going to be crisp, it's going to be refreshing. Standard, standard for ciders. Nice subtle flavours. And like I said, it is easy drinking, it's very quaffable. So I've got two of these fellas. I've got this one. Mm. I've got another one. Right, here's the problem when you've got 300 beers. It's fine, isn't it? So. Right, that's annoying. Because I know I've got it. Is that it there? No. No, no, can't find it. Well, ain't that a... That's annoying. Small bottle as well, so it'd, it'd be easy to find. Yeah. Yeah. No. I know I've got a pinky bottle of it. Right, so. Yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? So, yeah, they did the, the, the golden dish, just to Granny Smith. Crips Pink. I think it's the Crips Pink that I've got. Wherever it's hiding. Come out now. So, it's pronounced Scully, not Zolly. A South African word, a term for scallywag. Pronunciation. Scully, like trolley or dolly. Composition, single varieta, varietal ciders. 100% made from one type of eating apple. Only we can say that, and yeah, yeah, I've never seen it before. Fair play. Now if only I could find the other bottle. Oh, that's annoying. 
calling me annoyed. Right, back to the review. Can't find it. I'm enjoying that. Going down the street. So Friday afternoon. Just potted up nearly 150 plants into pots. I've now got probably in excess of a thousand to fifteen hundred plants in pots around my garden. Um, with my, my present workplace, there's there's a glimmer of hope that they might get a polyton, and I grow my own. And what I do, I put my stamp on my workplace. And uh, it would be if they did, I could create an oasis in the middle of Nottingham. Something where people will walk on just to see flowers, colour, well maintained shrubberies, uh, grass that's cut brilliantly, you know, and um, and inspire people to do the same in their own garden. That's basically where I'm coming from. Will it open? Will it happen? Don't know. It hasn't happened so far. I've been there a year, a year already. I'll have to crack open the champagne. Been a different year. <clears throat> Been a very different year. But isn't that life, you know? We all do things, we'll make decisions. Sometimes we make the wrong decision. Sometimes we say the wrong thing. You know, it's all part of life, it's all part of growing up, I suppose. Um, as human beings, we, you know, do silly things, say the wrong thing do the wrong thing and that none of us are perfect in this world but being honest with yourself now that's where you've got to be you know if you're in the wrong you're in the wrong you know I'm in the wrong most days so the wife says yeah, and I can't argue with her it's just an absolute waste of time I might as well not bother So, really easy drinking, good entry level uh, cider, uh, a cider for people wanting to dip their toes in apple ciders, um, really easy to get into, really easy to drink, nice taste, not too crisp or tart, certainly refreshing and uh, very palatable. So, Zolly, Scully, Scully, um, yeah, very nice, um, made from Granny Smith's, so, yeah, uh, Granny Smith's in Africa, Golden and Glitch as well, I always thought that was a French thing, what do I know, um, yeah, very nice, can't fault it at all, yeah. keep getting away for gas. Strong whiff as well. Ain't there bloody gas in here? I went to the toilet this morning. <sighs> if someone's ass ain't gonna blow up. So, um, out of five then. Bloody hell, that's a strong whiff of gas. You know, if someone's ass blows up in a minute, we'll know what the crack is. Um, out of five then. Well, it is a strong whiff. Um, well, for me, very good tasting, uh, good entry level cider. Uh, with a, you have a unique selling aspect, and you've got to love it for the asp for the selling aspect. And these days, there are a massive amount of ciders out these days. It ain't just Strongbow anymore, and Aspo and Sheppies. The amount of different stuff out there is amazing. Everyone's trying to get a bite of the apple, aren't they? Did you get that? Bite of the apple. Oh, I'm hilarious. But anyway, um, yeah. I just thought of it in that split second. 
made me laugh anyway. Don't laugh very often, so it's good. Um, but yeah, really nice. Good easy drinking cider. Uh, not too heavy on the aroma. And, you know, subtle, nice. Out of five then. Uh, for me, 4.4 .4 out of five. I love the, the aspect from where it's coming from. A single variety cider. And that it's a crowd pleasing cider. And uh, very interesting. And that's it for this beer review. Um, why, uh, cider review. Thanks for watching. I'm still getting a whiff of uh, gas. I wouldn't check my gas barbecue. It's not, if it's not a leak in or something. Then I wouldn't smell it down there if it was. Watch somebody's ass blow up. As long as it doesn't touch my shed and my gazebo, I'm alright. And then no one dies, obviously. Because that would be awful. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. Stay safe. And of course, thank you for subscribing. We're on 816. We seem to be going up and down like more more than um, we're down more than prostitutes knickers at the moment. Um, or maybe not that badly, but uh, you get you get what I mean. Uh, it, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, and uh, it's all very hilarious to see. I don't know why you'd subscribe and then then take it off a minute later. It'd be like why bother in the first place. They've obviously watched one review for that. That's not a bad review. What a second review for that is crap. Maybe. Who knows? Right. See you soon. Cheers.